everyone and welcome to the November, the Tuesday, November 8th, 2022 regular board meeting. Would you please stand for the pledge? Allison, could you lead us with the pledge today? Um, yeah. <laughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. At this time, I'd like to ask for a motion to move into executive session. Would anyone like to make a motion? I'll make a motion. All right. Vince? you got to get the reason. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I'd like to make a motion to move into executive uh, for the employment history of a particular individual. Apologize. Now I'll make I have a motion. Vince. And I'll okay. second. Diane seconds. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right, we're going to move into executive until approximately, um, hopefully, before 6 p.m. All right, thank you. Agenda. Um, we did pledge the flag, so I'll turn it over to our superintendent, Mr. Beister, provide okay. a report. Great. Thank you very much, Ms. Case. I appreciate that. Welcome to everybody that's here tonight. We got a full house. I suspect there's going to be some participation in government sheets that need to be filled out at the end of the meeting tonight. <laughs> Um, so, a couple of things here. Uh, first of all, I'd just like to take a moment to recognize all of our uh, veterans. Uh, the Veterans Day this week, uh, obviously a very big deal, and just uh, just want to say, extend our sincere thanks to all those who have served our country and we are continuing to serve our country. Uh, one of the things, actually, I can tell you that I'm very proud of in this district is the way that we do celebrate Veterans Day. Dr. Frawley over there can attest to an amazing just basically day that they have here at West Elementary. West Senior has an amazing ceremony uh, that you will put every single student, 1,200 students in a gymnasium, and they will be silent while that ceremony is taking place. It's very impressive. So I think that's one of the things we do very well here is to recognize our veterans. Um, well, another recognition I guess I'd like to be able to provide right now is it's uh, October is actually School Board Appreciation Month. Um, if you'll notice, it's November. Um, but traditionally in our district, we like to let the school year kind of get up and running a little bit. But if you notice, the board members all have little flowers uh, and uh, goodies in front of them from Eileen's. Uh, and thank you, uh, Mrs. Lotza, for helping to secure those for us. Um, but in the big picture, I've had people approach me before and talk about, you know, saying things like, well, who pays the board members' salaries and things like that. <laughs> Let's all laugh. Anybody want to laugh a little? Yeah. So, so school board members, by, generally speaking, in New York State, and there's about 700 districts, for the most part, school board members are not compensated. Uh, they do not get any, any kind of monetary compensation. These are volunteers that have very busy lives. And in many cases, they're on several other committees. Mrs. Bears, I'm looking in your direction. Uh, and volunteer opportunities throughout the community. I know you're probably heading somewhere tonight after this, I would imagine, to volunteer somewhere. So, no, this morning. Um, this morning, yes, I'm sure, at the Darwin Martin House. Mm -hmm. um, so anyway, but they spend a great deal of time. It's not just coming to a meeting once a month. There are countless emails, phone calls, uh, policy and committee meetings. Our board is actually, I will say, uh, taken on quite a few committees. Uh, we're trying to keep them straight, to be quite honest with you, more so than in my, uh, this was my sixth start um, in this chair, and I can tell you that we have more committees running with board members on than at any time in my history in the district. So. Um, I think that helps us not only to get things done, but keep a good line of communication between the, uh, the staff and the board members so that everybody's kind of rowing in the same direction. So I'm just going to go ahead and say thank you myself personally to all of our board members, but I know I speak for others as well uh, for thank you for your volu you know, volunteering your time to be here and for taking care of 6,000 children uh, on a daily basis, essentially. So thank you for that. So, you. Folks, how about a little round of applause from the audience? <laughs> They'll sign your sheets extra fast tonight, folks. Okay. <laughs> One final thing I guess I wanted to mention, I know we're, we're maybe a little behind our schedule, but we had a great staff development day today. Uh, our students were off, and in case any students are wondering, any parents are wondering why it is that we typically uh, use this day as a staff development day, we have four staff development days, or professional development days every year. We do a couple at the beginning of the year, one right around now. The reason we pick this day is because 
We have a number of polling sites. We like to pick election day. A lot of districts do. So we have the community, people coming in. And this was a pretty popular election today. There's a lot of voting taking place. Three of our buildings right now, it used to be four, uh, people are coming and going all day long. And it, it can be a little disruptive to the educational process. So we, we figured it was probably best. Let's, you know, the kids are off today. It's our staff development day. We had a great staff development day. Amazing uh, energy and enthusiasm throughout the district. A lot of people worked very hard to make that happen. Uh, a lot of our own folks were, were teaching classes. People had menus to choose from. Uh, just great stuff. A lot of uh, focus on literacy, on uh, you know, helping to work through mental health issues, trauma. We had uh, brain-friendly ways to teach sight words. That was one of my personal favorites. Uh, Defrayache instruction, uh, common formative assessments, uncommon formative assessments. That was a joke. There's no such thing. Um, so a variety of different uh, trainings and opportunities for our staff today. So I just want to thank everybody to help make that possible. So I have nothing further at this time. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Heistrick. All right, I'll give a brief. Um, actually, no. It's number two. Are we done with it? Can we move on? Well, maybe I think at this time, Nicole, would this be a good time for us to I think so. take a little pause? Okay. You do. Oh, there's a surprise. I forgot. Sorry. Dr. Merkel, would you like to approach? <laughs> Everyone likes surprises. <laughs> yes, you do. I see a board. I know I have to talk into the microphone so everybody can hear. So uh, just as a little token for board member appreciation, uh, our technology department used one of our new machines to create a little uh, piece of artwork for your boardroom. So. Thank you very much. We know you guys put in a lot of countless hours and uh, are not compensated. So thank you very much for your support and all you do for not only us, but for everybody in West Seneca. Thank you. Full disclosure, I did not know what the surprise was. So I thought it might be a pony or something, but this is better. Thank you very much. Thank you. beautiful. I pass it around, but I don't want to break it. Be careful, it's made, of, it's made of chocolate. It's right. It's actually made out of wood. That is awesome. Beautiful. Okay, you can pass it around. So while we're doing that, thank you again for that. It was a pleasant surprise. I will just give a small update as we're running a little bit late. Um, I just wanted to let um, our community know that Molly and I attended the New York State School Boards Association um, co convention in Syracuse uh, last weekend. And it was, a, it was a great convention, lots of keynote speakers. Mr. Bystreck was there. Um, Marilyn Martin, she's deaf. She was the opening speaker. She was very encouraging and just moved us with her story. And uh, Molly and I attended many of the conferences there, um, including one on policy, one on um, redefining academic excellence and future ready boards. And then afterwards, like we were given all the presentation slides, so any of our board members are welcome to see them. So oh, next nice. year, the convention is in Buffalo. Nice. So hopefully our board members can attend in the evening and not have to travel. So I just wanted to update us on that. And I know Mr. Bystreck was there. We ran into each other a few times. <laughs> we're at the same <laughs> seminar. So it was nice to see you. We're glad you went. And I just wanted to let everyone know that. And I think that's it for me. And we want to thank you yeah. for doing it. Oh, thank you. Know, you. Thank yeah. you for Two taking all the weekend. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you. Appreciate that. You're welcome. You know what? I'm so sorry. I totally forgot. There's another surprise. <laughs> Mr. Pacer, can you ring it up?
morning. Welcome to West Middle, room 603, Mrs. Rue's social studies class. I am Mrs. Rue and this is Officer Quick. Good morning. Today we are going to have our D.A.R.E. class and we're going to start with Jordan. D. Drugs. A. Abuse. R. Resistance. E. Education. Thank you, Board of Education, for bringing us to the D.A.R.E. program. Nous accueillons dans une de nos réunions de, de direction. Euh, nous sommes très heureux de vous retrouver avec beaucoup d'impatience au mois de mars. A très vite. Thank you to the board of education. Merci. Thank you. Merci. Thank you. Merci le conseil d'éducation. Thank you. Thank you. Merci. We say thank you to the Board of Education. Thank you, West Seneca Board of Education. May we have a voice level zero? Northwood has a special announcement. Thank you! For of education. We are grateful. We are grateful. We are thankful. We are thankful. We are thankful for the support you give us. I'm Hunter Rongstrout, grade 11. I go to West Seneca West Senior High School. Uh, I'm very appreciative of the uh, extracurricular activities and special field trips that we may take. Hi, I'm Nathan Jackluski. I'm in grade 11 at West, and I'm grateful for the educational opportunities we have here at West and East. I'm Ryan Vanderlip, also grade 11 at West. I am very appreciative of this beautiful turf field we have outside and the whole complex around me. Thank you, Thank school, you board school board members. members. Happy School Board Appreciation Week from West Seneca West Coral. Thank you for all that you do. You can't show me kids without me getting teary eyed. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Mr. Pacer, and thank you, Ms. Kala, for working with our teachers and principals to pull that together. So. That was really sweet. That was, cool. very that was awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. All right, follow that. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, I guess we can hand it over to our student. Allison, are you ready? So ready. <laughs> <laughs> Give us a report on East Senior. Okay. Um, hi, my name is Allison Zappa. Um, I'm here to represent West Seneca East Senior. 
So um, this month we had a lot of things happen. So student council held their craft show and cannon bottle drive to fund the Chris Kaskowski Scholarship Fund. The cannon bottle drive will continue until November 14th. On November 18th, student council is also working with American Red Cross to hold a student-only blood drive. Our goal is going to be 60 units of blood. We also granted nine teachers many grants of $100. And then we also granted and donated Literacy Club $300 for new reading materials. The 12th annual ELL Family Dinner Night was held at East and was attended by families from Northwood, East Middle, and East Senior. Over 100 families were joined by administrators, librarians, <coughs> teachers, and counselors. 13 countries were represented and we enjoyed over 60 different dishes from their home country. Ms. Cataldo and the Science Club are working with the Engineering Club to get an aquaponics apparatus up and running. It is their hope to supply freshly grown vegetables to East Senior. Key Club collected personal items for a women's and children's shelter in Buffalo and made Halloween treat bags for the children at the shelter. On November 1st through 18th, they will be holding their non-perishable food drive. Five teachers will compete to have the most items donated in their name. Student Services hosted the Western New York College Fair where 20 Western New York colleges were available to speak with our students. In December, the counselors will be taking interested students to Northland Workforce Training Center to explore and learn more about the programs offered. I'm sorry to interrupt. When was that? When they go to Northland? Um, in December. December? No, no exact date. Oh, I love that place. Our brand new garden club has worked on coming up with creative ways to keep those warm summer and fall days close to our hearts. We're moving things indoors. Their first project was to create a selfie station at the entrance of East Senior, also to help and guide also, with the help and guidance of Ms. Moore's students in our 12 to 1 to 1 classes, have started a rain barrel painting project to help beautify our grounds in an environmentally friendly and sustainable way. Our 6 to 1 to 1 classrooms have helped with critical assembly and prep. The Drama Club will per present Crushed on November 17th and 18th at 7 p.m. in the auditorium. Seating is general admission and tickets are $8. We had a successful fall concert combining our band, orchestra, and chorus for the first time since COVID. Marching band finished in the top three in the recent New York State Field Band Conference Championships. November 3rd through 9th, we will host our French Exchange students and staff. Mr. O'Donnell and Ms. Kruger had a lot of adventures planned for them and their hosts, including a rock and roll band, rock and roll dance that was held yesterday. We had our National Science Honor Society induction. 13 students were inducted. We've had several field trips, including the 6 to 1 to 1 and 12 to 1 to 1 community exploration field trip to Niagara Falls and Hard Rock Cafe. Our French Honor Society and Drama Club to Klein Hands for a musical performance based on a true story of three immigrants whose lives are intertwined by the pending French Revolution. Mr. Coutina and the Engineering Academy attended the Innovation Summit at the Convention Center. It showcased companies and researchers in the forefront of emerging technologies and new advancements in production and capabilities. And that is it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. A lot happened. <laughs> All right, at this time, we're going to move to the public comment section of our board meeting. Um, I just want to read a small statement to give some instructions if anyone wants to come to the podium and make a statement to the board. Um, the public comment section is time set aside for the community to speak directly to the Board of Education. Each speaker is given three minutes with a total allotted of time to last no more than 30 minutes. When called, please step up the podium and state your name and address. Please be respectful in your comments and do not divulge any personal or confidential information. The information shared will be carefully considered and the appropriate person will contact you. If you'd like to be contacted, please, your information, please leave your information with our district clerk. Is there anybody in the audience who would like to address the board? Okay. Please come up. Um, I believe it's okay for you to sit at the desk, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, Take yeah. a seat Fine. at the desk, honey. And, um, Please state your name and address. Hello, everyone. Hello, uh, my name is Imani Gibson. I present to you today a petition that I've started with more than 500 signatures to bring hats back to both East and West Senior. <coughs> The topic of hats and or hair headwear being endorsed on school grounds has been very controversial for a while now. Reasons why hats shouldn't be brought back would present themselves in the form of it's distracting or the student's face can't be seen from under them. Safety reasons have also been brought up in disagreement towards hats being allowed. 
I speak on behalf of many students, including myself, that HAD should be approved at school because not only does it provide comfort for those who lack it when entering school grounds, but it stands as a way for students to express themselves. I wholeheartedly feel that students deserve to feel with, to wear what makes them most comfortable because they're arguably able to focus more in school if their attention isn't constantly on whether their appearance is considered fit. In my petition for hats to be brought back, I'm not intending to include the allowance of hoods. I also am not advocating for hats with inappropriate text and or symbols on them. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Would you like to leave your petition or a copy yes. with the district clerk? Thank you. Well stated, by the way. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you for coming. Um, yeah. uh -huh. District clerk. Yeah. Good job. Is there anybody else who would like to address the board this evening? Okay. Thank you. I know the, um, the role is typically if someone who speaks has questions or we answer them, but if, if at some point I have the question of the board member, may I email you got leadership and Matt and you can just, I just have a couple questions. So sure, is sure. that the, the path we sure. would take? Mm -hmm. Thank yes. you. I appreciate that. You're welcome. All right. Now we're going to move on to the consent agenda. It starts at number five on your agenda and it goes through number nine. So included in the consent agenda is personnel certified classified personnel miscellaneous appointments and reports so if you'd like to take some time board members to go through that i will give you a, like a minute and um like i said if you need anything pulled off the consent agenda you need to just state state that you would like that And I apologize, it's five through nine? Yes, five through nine. So I want something pulled? Yep, you just state what it is, what number, and then it is immediately pulled and voted on separately. Okay. To our audience, we as board members receive our agenda um, last week and we have time to review it and look over it and ask questions to our superintendent and district office staff. So we usually come to our meetings very prepared so that we don't keep everybody here for hours and hours on end. Okay, is everybody ready? Okay, may I have a motion then? I'll make a motion to move oh. on to hear you. Go ahead, Kim. Oh, I just wanted to oh. congratulate Kathy McLeod on her retirement. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and well, it hasn't happened yet. Anyone <laughs> else is <laughs> retiring? <laughs> we don't know that we're going to approve it or not. So, <laughs> so before, the, before the motion, I would like 7A mm -hmm. and 7E okay. pulled out of consensus. Okay, one second. 7 Seven A and seven E. Okay. All right. Now, my question to you: Would you like each one of those voted on separately? I just have some required questions. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. And may I have a motion to so accept I, all of the consent agenda? Hold on. With the exception of 7A, 7E, and 8A. I make a motion to do what you just said. Mm -hmm. I second that. Ed makes the motion. Diane seconds. Is there any discussion? No. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, passes seven zero. Okay, we will move on to seven A then. So seven A, the creation of classified positions. There's a student assistant listed here. Mm -hmm. West Middle Learning Lab. Yep. Two positions. Yep. Are those? Uh, what are we hiring? Are we hiring teachers? Are we hiring Dr. Cervoni? Yep, we asked this question. Yeah, are those paid positions? That's that, that to the academy? 
those are things you have academy interns. Academy interns. Academy interns. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yep. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. All right, then let's um, let's vote on seven A then. Okay. Can I have a motion for seven A, please? I'll make a motion. Vince, <laughs> may I have a second? I'll second. Diane seconds. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, seven A passes seven zero. Okay. Now we will go to seven E. You know what, I apologize, I think I pulled the wrong argument. <laughs> That's okay. Take your time. Three different agendas going on. Mm -hmm. Either way, we do have to vote on 7 I apologize. Yeah. It was 8E eight, eight okay. that I was looking at. Well, that was already voted mm -hmm. on and approved, but we can talk about it at board discussion if you'd like. Okay. Okay? That's fine. No problem. Let's vote on 7E then. I'll make a motion to approve 7E. Okay. Ed, motions. May I have a second? I'll second. Molly, second? Yeah. Any discussion on 7E? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, hey, All right, now we will move on to 8A, coaching appointments. So um, may I have a motion to approve 8A? I'll make a motion. Diane, may I have a second? I'll second. Ben second. Any discussion? Um, we still have not addressed the fact that lifeguards are being paid fourteen dollars an hour. Okay. I believe the that town is hiring lifeguards. Yeah. Their rate is much higher. Right. Especially for the population that chooses to be a lifeguard, sixteen to eighteen year old kids. Mm -hmm. so. Okay. I believe hey, Mr. Feisberg has an answer for yeah, that. Yeah, I mean we did, I know we, we did cover that uh, in some emails. So essentially uh, I think one of the things we are going to be considering is for next year possibly raising that. The other thing is the lifeguard of the town has very different responsibilities than the lifeguard does uh, on our premises. There, there are other, there's like a swim instructor. Uh, Mrs. Fel Carl Doherty can speak to it more specifically, but there are two other individuals that are also in the pool and responsible for taking care of the kids uh, here as well. We also try not to, uh, in terms of the rate of pay, and I realize the town may be paying a little bit more right now too, but one of the reasons we try to kind of keep things even uh, for the most part, but there was a belief uh, at least that our rates were good for this year, that they could be addressed the next year or so, and that ultimately they do have different responsibilities. A lifeguard in the town has maybe a greater level of responsibility than a lifeguard uh, here in district. So mm -hmm. that was the rationale. Yeah. So and I, I can confirm not, it was. Not, <laughs> not, not a value judgment, just a, a ra an, an explanation, that's all. I'll take the explanation. It doesn't... All right. Um... All in favor for 8A? Aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Opposed. Okay. Passes 6-1. All right, now we are on number 10, new business. I think that's a discussion. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Actually, we voted on it. Oh, sorry. We voted on it. Okay. Yeah, we're going to move into board discussion. Can you which one it was so I can mark it? 8A. 8A. Okay. Not 7A. Okay. We are on 10, new business. All right, um, let me start with 10A, which are WSA evaluations. I'll make a motion to approve 10A. Okay, Ed makes a motion. May I have a second? I'll, I'll second. second. Okay, I'm going to go with Molly. <laughs> She's closer, I heard her first. Uh, is there any discussion? Any discussion? Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Nope. Okay, passes 7 0. All right, now we, I will um, go through 10 B, which is a donation to the East Senior Student Council, 10 C, which is a bid. Um, 
Mr. Beister, can you explain these a bit for us? Sure. Sure. These are related to the capital improvement project. Right. So the first one is just re in relation to hazardous materials. That's uh, oh, sure. That would be 10C. Uh, so stole environmental was the lowest bidder. So basically it's a survey uh, that has to be done uh, as part of the phase four of the capital project. Uh, same thing too with uh, the next one. It's FNS environmental was the lowest bidder. So they have an existing conditions of mechanical systems contract. Uh, and basically, I think they have to evaluate. And I'm, I'm going to get a little out of my depth if I say much more on the okay. specifics related to it. But yeah. uh, basically, this is a part of the capital improvement project for phase three. But they basically have to evaluate, it sounds like, our mechanical systems before they can move forward with that aspect of the project. Okay. Thank you. And we have read all the attachments. Um, ideally, I would like to have a motion to approve the rest of 10B. Can I get a motion for that? So 10, it would be 10B through 10K. Um, would anybody interested in motioning? I'll that? make a motion. Okay, Molly's going to make a motion. Ed? <laughs> <laughs> May I have a second? I'll second. Okay, Jody seconds. Is there any discussion on 10B through 10K? Excited to see more trips going on. Yeah. Love to have a donation. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. East Senior Student Council. That's awesome. Yeah, that's my Baseball's going to Orlando. Cheerleading's going to PA. And ice hockey's going to Rochester. Eighth grade is going to Boston, Massachusetts. Awesome. Yeah. Rope cap is going to Philly. <laughs> it's so nice the kids can travel again. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, great yeah. to see these. <clears throat> all right. Any more discussion? Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Nope. Passes 7 0. Okay. So we are finished with the voting portion of our meeting. Could I just congratulate Kathy McLeod on her retirement? Absolutely. She gave our district a lot of wonderful service. That's nice. Congratulations to her as well. All right. So we don't approve the informational documents. Um, so we are going to move to board discussion now. Oops. Okay. I apologize for that. We're going to go for board discussion. So um, first I'll, I will actually go around to each board member after this, but I'd like to talk about the chain of communication and command briefly. It's in your folder if you want to open it. This, I just wanted to give um, our community some background information on this. Um, when we attended a New York State School Board's um, retreat, they presented something from the Amityville School District that has a document like this on their website. And we just wanted to, we thought it was a great idea. And we, I had the idea of, would you like to, to replicate this and put this on our district website? Because oftentimes as board members, we will get emails and questions that really have nothing to do with our role. So we thought this might be a good start. Um, so um, it's up here for people to look at, and I know that our employees will be also looking this over, our admin, and you know, offering any changes or suggestions. So does any, do any board members have questions about this? Nope. Yes. No, <clears throat> for me, from a different positions as a parent, as a community member, as an educator, as a coach, I like this a great deal. Mm -hmm. okay. I think that um, being able to have a place that I can look, if I have a concern, it gives me in by step what I can, to whom I should be reaching out to in that process. So I think it's very helpful. Yeah, and I, like I said, a few of our folks internally are just taking a look. They want to make sure it's an accurate reflection of kind of how we operate, but I, I couldn't agree more. To be honest with you, it just spells it out clearly. So I look forward to getting something that makes sense and, and presenting it to the board for their thoughts and opinions on it. And if it, if it makes sense to everybody in the room, mm -hmm. then we publicize it and just make sure everybody's aware of it. So I'm, I'm right there with you, Vince. I think it's a great document. Yeah, yeah. it's great. I just have one, I mean, one kind of question on it. Everybody else has a fall safe except for budget. Everybody else has, if this doesn't work, <laughs> go here. Yeah. You mean so if there was like a financial question? Yeah. Oh, gotcha. Everybody just call Mr. Thiel. Well, so, yes. We've well, got his cell phone on the website. That's the only one that doesn't have a, uh, <laughs> if, if no will, 
Then what? It goes to the superintendent because yes. if the right. chain of command has been exhausted, please contact yeah. the superintendent of schools. So <laughs> it's Will or Matt. Yeah. Uh, We're going to say it's Will. Good luck, <laughs> <laughs> Will. They're going to play Matt it. Yeah. <laughs> four, 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 four. <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> you put your name on her, Jody, if you like. <laughs> Liz had to step out for a brief moment to take a very important phone call. Um, with your other, uh, I think June, June work session was another topic of conversation. Oh, you don't go back and forth this work, where this is a work in progress? This is, At some I, point, do we approve this? I, I, don't, know we, you, I don't know that it needs official vote, but okay. I think I'd want to hear from everybody around the room to mm -hmm. say, yeah, we like it, we're good with it. So we're going to give you some feedback, I think, with this week, to be from quite honest with you. Yeah, 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 they just wanted, there's a few, few areas they thought, hey, maybe this might be a clear read or just a few thoughts. So I think the structure overall is great, and I just think they just had a couple of thoughts that they wanted to get together and talk about. So I, I would hope to be able to bring this up at the next board meeting then. And in advance of that, you can take a look at the documents. So. Great. Yeah. Um, is this, uh, I don't know, and again, I'm, I'm not sure what different groups we have, but also um, this will be on, when it's done, this will be on the website. Yeah, and oh, yeah. Just like fairly in the beginning, like that yeah. thing. Yeah, I would think so, yeah. We actually, we're, we're kind of sort of kicking around, uh, talking to our web design, like Emily Clapper, like, hey, where, where might be the best place to include this so it's prominent? Uh, there's a lot of things that we've been trying to sort of highlight, so it's, there's a little bit of an art to that, figuring out the best way that it catches people's attention the quickest, so. Sure. Okay. Good. Okay. They just gave you all the work. So. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Is there anything else on board discussion? What? I, anything else on board discussion? No. Uh, is this at large, or you're calling on us? Yeah, I will. I didn't know if you had gone around the room. June. Yet. Not that, no. Okay. I have a couple things. Okay, Jan, go ahead. I'll, I'll oh. start over there. No, I, I don't want to be out of order. No, please. <laughs> all the rules. All the rules. Um, I've been attending all the legislative meetings uh, since we've met. I've, October 20th, and <clears throat> also um, there is one uh, on uh, at the Grapevine. Uh, we have the legislative breakfast, and that's November 19th, and it's going to be held over there in Chictawaga at the Grapevine restaurant. I would encourage you to attend that because our legislators will be there, several of them, and uh, that'll be kind of a very good contact with them, depending on if they get voted. Yeah, you know, today, <laughs> whatever. go home tonight and watch TV. <laughs> and also, the legis I'll be attending the legislative committee on the 17th also, but... Uh, Keep, keep up to date on that. Uh, we have, I'm going to watch the election returns tonight to see who we're going to be meeting with. <laughs> but uh, that, that's an important branch uh, because a lot of things happen. As you know, when you attended the uh, convention, but a lot of that happens in Albany. You know I mean? And it's nice because they'll talk about the hot button items in yeah. school districts mm -hmm. and they'll give us some yeah. You know, ideas on what they're advocating for, and and they ask us as board members, what would you like us to advocate for on your behalf? So it's mm -hmm. a good conversation, and I think that we opened it up to the district. Anyone was welcome to come. <laughs> I'll be there with you, Jan. I'm not uh, good at, to be at the Great Bank. Mm -hmm. Great. I would encourage anyone who can come because you do get a good turnout. Oh, yeah. we'll be there. You do get a good turnout, and they feed you too. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. Ed, do you have anything you'd like to um, add? Nothing major. Just uh, I'll throw out there a plug for um, East Middle. I believe you said their PTA meeting was last night, so their next one will be in December. Um, but super, very important, and you'll see this on their social media. Between now and November 18th, they are having their um, uh, wreath and point set of sale. So, uh, again, reach out to their, I'm assuming their, I don't know who, they sent an email out today. I think they, it's on their website, it's, too. It's on their link. Yeah. So that's right. It's not their website. It's our website with their link, right? Yes. I, yes. yes. And I so, have to say they said those wreaths are the best smelling wreaths. Oh, they're amazing. Yeah. yeah they, they they, they, there was a lot of discussion about it. Yep. So. so reach out there if you're looking for a wreath or poinsettia and you want to support East Middle. Okay. Thank you. Jody, is there anything you you'd okay? like to share with the board? I have a fuzzy off of my sweater when nice. I took a breath into it. <laughs> 
Okay. <laughs> so shall we skip you? Okay. <laughs> All right, Vince, is there anything All right. you want to talk about? So, <laughs> yeah. uh, there were a couple of items on the agenda that I wanted some clarification sure. on. Uh, 8E. Okay. <laughs> uh, Matt, under continuity of learning, program instructor appointments, uh, who do these folks work with and when do they work with students? Uh, it's after school hours. So uh, <laughs> it's something we actually put into place last year uh, in response to kids being quarantined through COVID. So essentially, if a student is out, uh, this, they meet virtually. So it's after their regular work hours, and it's basically just some tutoring. It's, it's, uh, we had some success with it last year because these are teachers that are actually in the respective buildings of the students. So uh, the way we structured it last year, for instance, like at West Senior, you might have had like, know, okay, Monday night was math night, so if you need help with math, you read, there's a couple of teachers available. Tuesday was science, so uh, it's something that we still have some students out. And we're actually kind of just, uh, it's interesting, Mrs. Persico actually kind of pulled our principals just to see, it'll be a topic of discussion at a meeting we have next week, but to see the kind of the usage, there was a desire e expressed to continue the program because it could be beneficial to kids, that, whether you're out for COVID or whatever. Uh, but we want to see what kind of usage it's getting, how are we publicizing these things, um, but it just seemed like almost a step back potentially if we stopped offering something like that uh, for our students. So I should have more information, honestly. I, I want to say the meeting That's next great. week. So we're going to be discussing So it could it. be either an as needed or it could be a regularly scheduled tune in. That, that's really what that that was the intent honestly because it was it was asked for we had some feedback from some teachers and administrators uh, back over the summer they said hey this is something we should continue we think it was valuable um, and we were having students tune in but I, I, I don't know exactly what the usage is right now so that's we want to get a sense for how much are people taking advantage of this and how much are we advertising it how much are we making people aware of it right. can we do a better job with that or so um, I, I should have more information over the next couple of weeks that I can get to everybody uh, in an email as well. Okay. So the, we just we approved these folks tonight, so they're in the the pool of we could draw from. Correct. If we needed to enact it. I will also say too, there are other reasons that sometimes if a student is out, let's say for a medical injury, in right. some cases for disciplinary reasons, we've also been able to utilize these folks uh, as an educational resource as well. So there's a variety of reasons that kids miss school. I can tell you last year in particular, this was very helpful, even after all the quarantines kind of stopped. Last spring, these folks were very busy uh, connecting with students. So, so continuity of learning be synonymous with home instruction? Uh, similar, yes, yeah, pretty much yeah, kind of the same thing. I mean, there's certain requirements for home instruction, like in terms of number of hours, but it's the same kind of thing. It would meet, it would meet that requirement. Okay. And then the other one was uh, 8H, under academic intervention services, uh, instructor appointments. I see a, a group of folks here that um, are just being, are being approved for hourly stipends. Yes, so that, that's a little different. So these folks get paid if they work. So essentially what, what, they, what buildings, especially at the secondary level, will typically do is they will approve certain people to be able to do it, and then the building principal ultimately assigns the hours. So it's, it's in the best interest to kind of get as many people on there approved as possible. They only work as much as we, we authorize them to work, and everybody has an AIS budget for the year. Okay. So like when I was at West Middle School as a principal, for instance, I would ask everybody, hey, you know, please let me know if you're interested. There was a form I had them fill out if you're interested in doing AIS after school hours this year. Sure. Uh, and I would get a pool of people. I'd say, let's say I got 15 people. I had my budget was this. I would mm -hmm. divide that up among them, make sure that everybody was good with the hours. Um, so it's, it's no more, it doesn't exceed the budget or the allocation that we have for the respective buildings. Very good. Okay. Now I have one more um, thought, question, concern. Um, in terms of the appointment of coaches. So we just approved for a baseball trip to go to Orlando, but we don't have a baseball coach who'd be approved yet. So I think it's the timing of the uh, postings and then the approvals. Uh, most of our coaches work off season with kids and I, so it's doing all this work without the security of being appointed as a coach seems to be a little out of order. 
So you, I know you had reached out a, a little while back about that. So I know Dr. Savoni and uh, Marissa Falcaro uh, Doherty had, had some conversation. You, you right. Couple, there's two different paths to look at for that. There's the one if they're a, a district employee, like they're, they're in the teacher's group, they would have a right to it. So they would have some level of certainty, right? Like if I coach baseball, now the situation you're talking about, it's not. So, But if it's like, let's say it's somebody within the teacher's uh, group, if they were a coach, uh, unless there was you know, some sort of you know, process by which we said you, know, you, you can't do this anymore, which went through an evaluative, evaluative weight of process, they were, they'd be entitled to maintain the position for the following year. Uh, so, then you, that, so that kind of takes that pool out. So those folks do have some certainty, essentially, right? If I'm a coach that is a teacher in district, mm -hmm. it's the folks uh, that are not. Let's say they work another job somewhere else in the district, and this is just a kind of a part-time thing for them that they do. Those folks, in fact, do not have that level of, of uh, certainty. They don't have a, an entitlement to the position kind of moving forward as per the contract. So what you're describing uh, we kind of put that to to Marissa and just said, "Hey, do you do you, do you see any reason why we we wouldn't?" And you know, her re reaction was, "You know, that I think it's definitely worthy of conversation." So to kind of get at what you're talking about, if someone's running an off-season clinic or something like that, or they're planning a a field trip, you know, that may they and by what you just said, which is factually correct, they may not even be in place to be the one to actually help facilitate the field trip. So. Uh, I, I see what you're getting at, and it is something we're having some conversation about to see if there's some sort of measure that we can take yeah, to... Because technically, yeah. now if it's posted, an internal candidate within the district could apply for that position. Correct. Get that position, and then we're, we have a crowd full of people going, why'd you just take our coach, right? Yeah. Um, just... There, there would be, I, I'm just, in, in full disclosure, we'd have to have some conversation from a contractual standpoint in terms of like time frames and stuff. I think it's a worthy discussion, I really do, um, especially if you want to you know, show a level of commitment to folks that have really dedicated some serious time and energy uh, to our students. So uh, it is something that we are having a discussion about right now. We just kind of have to see what it looks like from a contractual standpoint. So it's a great question. I'm glad you brought it up. When is our next redistricting committee? The 29th of November. 29th of November. Okay. Um, one of the things that I think our board should be taking into consideration before we, as we move down this path uh, in conversation about redistricting, are a couple of things, including class size, class sizes across the board. We, I think, the last time the board um, actually uh, voted on a class size or had guidance on class sizes dates back about 25 years. Mm -hmm. Um, I think that's something we need to discuss. I think it should be a driver in the whole redistricting uh, process. Um, I also would like us to look at start times for our schools. Uh, Alden uh, took the leap and they're starting their, uh, their high schools later. Uh, all the research in the world tells us that that is the right thing to be doing for students, for these high school kids who are going to now be, you know, have to get up at six o'clock in the morning and get themselves ready when you know they need more sleep now than any time in their life. So I think that should also be part of the conversation we're looking at redistricting as it would its impact on busing and everything that goes along with that. So just want to put that out there. Thank you. Can I just quickly add, um, even though we didn't necessarily take any actual um, moves on this, I know we spent a good. Uh, couple of years we're looking at class sizes and we're working to increase them as a board um, before like uh, previous to this year's thing previous to, I think previous to, COVID, I COVID. Previous to COVID we worked on that but there was no official action where we took but um, it, it, the, the process we're working on now is something that the board did work on yeah um, just but I, I love talking about it more absolutely yeah, the board has demonstrated a commitment to yeah. operating toward the lower end of those class sizes if not below the second thing time. you said I would love to do the yeah. starting time has been a discussion point for a long, long time. I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd love, I'm to, sure. love to talk about it more. Well, time to mm -hmm. kind of put it in writing, I would think. Yeah, but kids who uh, go, go to jobs uh, are a big factor in that. Well, we can have a whole lovely debate about it yeah. these days. We can survey the kids. I want to see what around. they think. <laughs> yeah. They're all going to say, sleep in. <laughs> Just I just want to clarify to all you high school students, you need to come to school on time tomorrow, okay? <laughs> it hasn't been changed. I'm working for you. 
I think Cl I think Clarence has a later start time too. By the way. Diane, do you have anything? And actually, like last year with class sizes, we did have a meeting. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. we had, with class sizes last year, mm -hmm. um, Liz, Molly, and I met with the elementary teachers yeah. to talk about mm -hmm. what they thought was the optimal, you know, class mm -hmm. sizes. But we didn't do anything official. I understand. But we did discuss it with them. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think it's a building mm -hmm. block, and what we're what we're trying mm -hmm. to do mm -hmm. in terms of our you know, <coughs> equity plans drastically change things depending on the class size, I mean, of what we can do with the whole committee, so, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Molly, do you have anything to share? I don't. You summed up our little trip Rented. to yeah. Syracuse. Um, yeah, so. Okay. Um, I just want to share that, um, you know, we did get over 100 um, parents and guardians and community members interested in sitting on our redistricting core team and the, the board was very careful with the process and how we selected them. We all had a say in who we thought would be a great person to sit on the committee. We all, you know, put in our thoughts and we made sure to equally pick people from the east side and the west side. So we have two west side parents and two east side parents. So I just want to, everyone to know that it was a very well thought out process and I like our core team. They're made up of a lot of different administrators, teachers, special education, even our English language learner teachers. And so I feel like this is a good committee. And our next meeting is in November. And um, was I going to say yes, class size guidelines have always been mm -hmm. <laughs> on my radar as well. So we hope to implement this and talk more about this as mm -hmm. the process go, moves on. I just wanted to note too, um, when Liz was talking about you know the core team, I think it's important to for our community to understand that there will be forums mm -hmm. where the public will be invited um, to ask questions, um, address any concerns. So um, so if you feel left out, don't. Um, this is the beginning stage. Um, it's a lot of data collection, and um, but we will we have committed to making sure that our public has yeah, I access to this whole process. Seeking input, <laughs> yes. we're, we're it's not well. If you, you have a question, ask. It's we are mm -hmm. actively seeking the input of this entire community mm -hmm. uh, to go through this process, and uh, I I can't imagine a more important time than right now when it comes to uh, the equity issues that we're seeing uh, between the west side and east side of our uh, town. Um, and now's the time. Now's the time. The, um, surveys, please, if you see the surveys, fill them out, yes. focus groups. And uh, I'm even going to go as far as say, if for some reason you feel left out, there's no reason why a nice email to the board mm -hmm. with some ideas, not going to be ignored. No. So don't, don't, don't be afraid to send us some info. We'll get it to the proper people. In addition to the forums, there'll also be some focus groups as well with smaller, like the, the facilitators are looking to do that with staff and with families, like maybe groups of, I mean, they're, don't hold me this, but like eight to 10 people. So some smaller, more intimate conversations that can take place. And to Ed's point, I think, I don't think there's ever a, a problem emailing myself or a board member if you have a thought or an yeah, idea. Yeah, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to you No, no, I, I just, no, I don't. The group in general. Yeah, and I just, if I could just point out too, to be quite honest with you, in some districts, they, they don't maybe go to as many lengths to try to solicit feedback. In a lot of cases, you just have, and frankly, a board of education can just say this is what we're doing, but I think there are some definite measures that are being taken right now to try to get a sense for what people want out there. So I, I think that's commendable. So. so thank you. Who are the surveys sent to? Nothing yet. Nothing yet. Yeah, still working. I'm hoping uh, over the next week or so that we'll be able to get something out. So. And will the surveys go to district households, families with students in the district, or the entire conglomerate of everybody that pays school taxes for West Seneca? Yeah. Uh, you know, to be quite honest with you, I don't know we've had that conversation. I think as long as we have contact information, because it's going to be like a digital survey, like email addresses and things like that. Not everybody registers with us, right. um, but if somebody were to, I would imagine that's something we could absolutely consider. So I think it would be especially important to go to parents of, who have children that they're sending to private and parochial schools because those are the kids we want to attract back. 
and we should know why they're not here. That's a good idea we can consider. Right. Okay, at this time we're going to move back into executive session, so our public session is over. Unless there's something else that you'd like sign to sign all of their forms. Yeah, can I we will. That's can we'll make sure? Yeah. yeah, we will make sure to sign your form. So I'm just going to make a motion to move into executive. We can take a five minute recess for board members to do a bathroom break, a drink break, and we can sign your form. So may I have a motion to move into executive session for the employment history of particular individuals and collective negotiations pursuant to Article 14 of the Civil Service, as well as consult our attorney. I'll motion. Jody motions. May I have a second? I'll second. Is there no public discussion? I'll second. No one signed up? No. They just uh, do the one favor? session now. Aye. 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 Okay, thank you. So they, they did it already. Can we all that was yeah, yeah, I think yeah. so. We don't think anybody can yeah, sign up. I think, I think, I think we just went to one.